Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss our project name Online Bus Management System. We are five members in groups named Wasif Said, Muhammad Kazim, Umayma Zulfikar, Kainat Zafar, and Adila Fatma. Now we can move further. Here's a little introduction of our system. Basically, our system is an online ticket booking where people book their tickets for their ride to available destinations with their ease from anywhere and any time. Our system had many features related to bus ticket booking like seat booking, people select bus with their choice, people select bus company on their own choice, and digital payment etc. Here we can draw some UML diagrams which include use case, activity, sequence, collaboration, class, component, package, and deployment. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Umayma. I am going to explain the deployment and use case diagram. First of all, I will describe the use case diagram. Use case diagram is the important aspect is to capture the dynamic behavior. It means to get the behavior of the system in training and operation. There are different actors and different use cases. Uh, the first one is customer. There are two types of customer passenger and luggage sender. First of all, the customer will log in uh, and complete its profile and give the, um, and provide all the information required and uh, book the seat. Admin. Admin handle the queries, um, manage the bus. Mm, uh, and keep the record. The uh, terminal administrator, terminal administrator, manage the terminal history and terminal ticket booker data etc. System, system will uh, have the bus record, generate report, make inquiry salary, bus income, handle businesses, um, and all the information handled by the system. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Adila Fatma. I will explain the sequence diagram and the collaboration diagram. What is sequence diagram? Sequence diagram is an interaction diagram that emphasizes the time ordering the messages. The main thing in the sequence diagram is we have to think about the time. Means how much time it is taking the message passing from one object to the other object. So it is completely based on the time ordering of the messages. A message will be passed in the form of sequence from one state to the other, other state. Now I will explain the sequence diagram from the bus booking system. First of all, user log into the system. For the login, user give data to the verification object. And then the verification object check given data from the user data table. That the data is found or not found. And if the data is found, then the login is successful and the user give access to the system. If the data is not found, then the login unsuccessful. When, uh, when the user successfully logs into the system, then the user requests for the ticket booking and then he gives he or she gives detail. If the detail is valid, uh, from, uh, check the detail from the data validity object. If the detail is valid, then the mm, mm, check for the seat availability in the seat object. And check in the database that the seat is available or not. If the seat is available, then the user selects seat and then enter seat details and then the ticket is booked if the seat is not available the ticket is not booked and this is the total time for given um, for given user login to the system and to the ticket booking system uh, is the total time taking for the product so that will be in the form of sequence diagram uh, and now i will explain the collaboration diagram First of all, collaboration diagram emphasizes on the structure organization of the object that send and receive message. It means that the object can send data from one object to the other object. And in the bus booking system, multiple objects can be there. First of all, user login, verification, user database, data validity, ticket booking, and the system. These are all the object of the bus booking system. First of all, user login to the system. User object can send data to the login login object and the login object receive data from the user and, and this sending and receiving messages are a collaboration diagram. First uh, and then the login uh, object send data to the verification and the verification data sent to the user database. Uh, and th uh, these um, objects, these are, are the objects uh, send and receive messages uh, from one object to the other object. User database check the 
data found is data data is found or not found and then user access to the system and in this diagram user uh, ticket booking system uh, user uh, ticket booking uh, for the ticket booking user give detail to the system uh, and check whether data is valid or not valid if the data is valid then the user check the seat that is available if the seat is available then the if the seat is available uh, then the user select the seat and ticket is booked this is the collaboration diagram bismillah rahman rahim and this is muhammad kazim uh, and i will represent to you the activity diagram what is the activity diagram activity diagram is like the flow chart to represent the activities of the system there are some uh, symbols or terms used in the system in the activity diagram uh, first of all the start node start node is represented by this and node represented by this and then oval shape oval shape is represent the activities of the system then control flow control flow this is control flow control flow direct towards the activities then join node and fork node join node from many activities towards one activity and fork node from one activities towards many activities this is join node and fork node then decision node decision node is about this is decision node decision node is about failure or success if the user success he moves forward and if he fails he moves backward now we start how activity diagram work here the user start from the start node and login in the system after login if he success he moves to the home page if he fails he move to the backward here in the home page the user will provide all the details of online booking system bus details booking details ticket details route details after providing these details he will moves to the ticket booking here ticket booking the user will provide destination type from date and time after providing these details he will check the availability of seat if a seat is available he moves to the select seat if seat is not available he moves backward and try another date or time after selection of seat he will provide select seat type and seat number after providing the seat type and seat number the user will confirm booking after confirmation user will move to the payment here uh, he will pay through jazz cash easy paisa or through by bank after payment uh, ticket will booked and he will um, save or not save and moves to to the end this is the end node